The world might think they're the lucky ones, survivors of Ebola. But the life many have after the virus isn't as simple as that. U H Y. Those who made it through the deadly virus face a one in four chance of developing uvitis, a condition which could leave them blind. But there aren't the resources for tests countrywide. This clinic is funded by the British government. Ebola survivor Mohammed allows us to film his prognosis. And for him, it's good news. He's clear. Some people will be thinking that it's bad, but as for me, I, I think that is good for me. To, for know my status. For others, new journeys in new places. Ten-year-old Fatmata survived but lost her parents and with that her home. She's moved villages to live with her grandmother. She tells me, I had a very bad headache, I was sick. In hospital I was crying, but I'm happy here. Her grandmother says, I feel so bad for what she's lost, but this is the other side of the coin. I'm very happy my granddaughter is alive. But those who made it through alive, like Mariatu, are still coming to terms with their experience. She was treated in isolation after catching Ebola when she cradled her dying daughter. Nobody will enter that ward. He will just lay there. They will just put the food at the door and you will call unless you call to pick it. If you are not able, the food will just remain there until the next day. And for many, isolation now takes a new form, survivor's stigma. Billboards and posters have been put up in an effort to tackle it. One image even features the president of Sierra Leone himself. It's a public information message from the very top, but it's not getting through. This is my, my mother, my father, my stepmother. Three of them died. At a meeting of Sierra Leone's Ebola Survivors Association, Yusuf told me stigma has seen people lose their jobs and even be evicted from their homes. Now, and after what we've been through, we came back, we thought that it's time for them to celebrate us. They denied that and started stigmatizing us. They turned their back and they totally and finally abandoned us. Just four survivors, four experiences in a country where Ebola reached so far. Peter Lane, 5 News, Sierra Leone.